Let's talk about Notion agent instructions and memory. This is one of the biggest releases from Make With Notion a few weeks ago, and is one of the core capabilities that makes your personal agent in Notion as powerful as possible. By setting up and using your agent's instructions page, you help your agent's responses be stronger and also more tailored to how you like to work. Quite simply, I found that this helps me get more done faster with less prompts, which is all because my agent knows my writing style and knows the databases I use every day. And with its memory system, it's only getting better as I use it more. So first today, we're gonna start with the basics of how this all works. And then we're gonna move to three real examples to make the most of your agent's instructions. So first off, let's start with what I mean when I say your agent instructions. In the bottom right of any Notion page, you'll see your personal agent here. And here you can see the option to personalize it. Here you can give it a name, in my case, Ian's agent. Also, you can give it an accessory. In my case, I've given it the rubber duck. But you could also pick from any of these ones over here. And most important for this video, you can also set up your agent instructions here. Here you could pick from any of our templates to get started. Or in my case, I'm gonna use an existing page, which I've set up beforehand. Here, Ian's agent instructions. Let's check out what this looks like. So these here are my agent instructions. The first thing you'll notice here is at the top, it says this page is set as your Notions AI instructions page. This contents will influence its behavior. And if we go in the sidebar as well, you can see this tag right here. How this works is that every time you start a new chat with your personal agent, this page is loaded into its context automatically. So you can think of it like a prioritized set of information for your agent. So here in this case, I have the personality of how I want it to interact with me. I have some personal details as context about myself. I have some references to important databases that I use throughout my day. I also have some workflows. So these are particular ways I want my agent to interact when I ask it for something. I'll show that in a second. And then also down here, I have notes for things that don't fit cleanly into these other categories that I have above. And you can imagine why this is so helpful for my personal agent, because every time I ask it a new prompt or a new question, it has all this context to work from. The last thing to know about how this works is that your agent can actually update its own instructions page. The other day I realized I was often asking my agent to give me at least five copy recommendations when uh, helping me write. But this is exactly the type of preference that I can give my agent to save for next time. So here you can see, I'll put in, when I ask for copy alternatives, remember to make them distinct and to always give me at least five, and then I'll click go. So there you can see, it just updated the page and added that preference to my list here. And the next time I'm chatting with my personal agent, it'll have this context to work from. Now I've covered these basics, let's move into some examples. Now for anyone watching this video, I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling of having a whole bunch of small tasks thrown at you throughout the day. So to help with situations like this, I wanna show you what I've taught my agent to do. So here I have a Slack link here with a to-do for me, and I'm just gonna send it to my agent. What's cool here is that I'm only pasting the link itself, no other context. You can imagine if I sent this to another AI tool, it wouldn't know what to do with this link, but because Notion is connected to Slack, it can actually read that message, take out the information, and then create the accurate to-do in my task database. So here, if I check this out, I see that it has uh, the title of the task, which was uh, to vote on an offsite location. It gave it these properties of today and the status. And it also links to the Slack message as well. So if I go back to my task database, you see what was just created alongside all my other to-dos here. So to show you what's happening under the hood here, if I go back to my agent instructions, you can see that I have a particular workflow set up down here, where if I send a new link with no information, you should assume I want you to create a new page in my task database with some other detailed information here. So that's how it knows what to do. All I did was set up this preference once, and then now I can just send links and let Notion agent handle the rest. Okay, now for my second demo. So if you have a lot of meetings like I do, then you also probably have a lot of admin around these meetings, things like creating meetings, adding topics to the agenda, also things like sending recaps after meetings. Let me show you how my personal agent helps with this. Here, for example, I'll say, create a new one-on-one -on -one with Ava for Friday, add a roadmap review to the topics list, and then I'll click go. So here you can see it views my one-on-one -on -one database with Ava, it creates a new page, and now let's go check this out. So here we see the new meeting that it made for us. This is an AI meeting note, so it's easy to start transcribing when it starts. And here we can see it added roadmap review to the topic, and it also picked the right date of this Friday, October 10th. Now this is just one example of something that might be helpful. Let's imagine that we're working on something else later in the day. I'll just go to a different page as an example. And let's say we wanted to add a topic to this meeting uh, with Ava. I'm gonna open up a new chat, and then I'm gonna ask, my personal agent to add an FYI about upcoming PTO to the topics for my next AVA meeting on Friday.
Now in just a second here, you can see it says added FYI upcoming PTO to this meeting. And if I go open it up, you see it just added that topic to the agenda here. Now without agent, I would have needed to switch tabs, go find this meeting, uh, add that topic, etc. But now what I love is I can just tell agent to do it in the background of what I'm working on and not need to lose my flow. For the third example here, let's talk about feedback. If you're a project manager, you know how much effort it takes to stay on top of all the feedback you might get from your internal teams, not to mention your external customers. In my case, I was recently working on Notion Academy, so let's pretend for this demo that we're working on Acme Academy. Let's pretend that we've gotten some feedback in Slack. What I can do here is go to my personal agent and I can say Academy feedback and then just link to the feedback. Here you can see it takes all the information from that Slack message. It actually shows the message itself and then it creates the appropriate uh, title with all the appropriate tags as well. Let's check it out what it looks like in the database. Here you can see it filled in all that information. It even included uh, the person who sent me that message, in this case, Ava. I hope these demos have shown how powerful but also simple Notion agent instructions are. By getting familiar with how these work, I feel like it's completely changed how I use Notion and that my personal agent just keeps getting better and better because of it. So with that, I'd encourage you to get started by going to the bottom right, by clicking personalize and then picking from one of our template instructions to get started. And I hope you find it as fun and as useful as I have.